Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, everyone in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel. You are watching me in the Heaven and Air Life program, the one we used to do every Monday to every Saturday, every Monday to every Saturday, every day, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. to 10 30 a.m. every day. Uh, today, we are going to speak on some revelation that God has shown to me. And I pray that the Lord God will help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, let's quickly pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Internal rock of AG, we want to appreciate you. We want to glorify your name because of everything you have done for us. We want to thank you. We want to appreciate you because you never fail us. You have been our God. You have been our Savior. Internal rock of AG, we are going into your word now. We ask you, oh Lord. I ask you, Lord, that you open the mindset of your people. You open the eyes of their spirit to see more and to see the deep things of your glory. I ask you, Lord, that you should open the mystery of your word to them. As they hear it, O Lord, let their eyes be open. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you and be with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As I was saying, uh, we are going to talk about one of the revelation that God showed to me and uh, speak to me uh, about uh, two, three days ago. And the topic is uh, the revelation of Jesus placing his mark on the edge of his candidate. About some days ago, I was preparing uh, a message and uh, suddenly the Lord, began, the Lord began to give me some uh, some message. And one of the message that Jesus Christ gave to me is a message of uh, him placing a mark on the head of his candidate. Now, I, he told me that I, I saw a revelation and I saw angels coming down. In this form, I see some people and they are in working place I saw some Christians, not just a people, Christians in their working place. I saw some on their bed. They are still sleeping. I saw some on the, in the church. It's just like a kind of a, a series of revelations that happened at a time. A series of revelations that happened at a time. I saw people in their working place. I saw some Christians in, their mark, in the marketplace. And I also saw some angel coming down from Abu, from heaven, coming down to the earth to come and place this mark on the on the Christian. But one thing I see is that uh, uh, it is not all the Christians that they place this mark. That's one number two. The number two thing is that it were they were very few. There were very few people who asked this mark on their head. And this mark is not the mark of the Antichrist. It's the mark of the uh the, the mark of Christ himself as he, the mark of Christ himself. Now, this mark is a kind of uh, a, a kind of mark that will secure them from the things that is about to happen before Jesus Christ uh, eventually take everyone home. Uh, I'm talking about the situation of what is going to happen, the one world government. I am not saying that the one world government is going to happen right now. And I'm not saying that the world world government is going to happen tomorrow, but it's going to happen right now. It's going to happen very soon, which means that and that is going to take a lot of uh, it's going to take a lot of blood. Uh, what I'm saying by a lot of blood is that uh, it's going to uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be so serious against the Christian, especially the Christians. I'm talking about not all the Christian Christian that are a watchman who are current in the spirit. When I mean by current in the spirit, it's Christian who are still working according to the spirit of God, not just a Christian that are going to church. People who are still 
in the way of the law, who God has been speaking to and revealing the secret. People as Christian, I'm talking about Christians who have not collected the verses, the job, who has not collected the job and are still very, very watchful and careful. These are the are the Christians I am talking about. This angel is placing the mark on their head. The mark on their head. And this mark is standing for those who is going to be raptured. But in the process, there are some things I also saw when this mark is placing on their head. Uh, in some area, I saw some Christian that the, 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 the angel was placing mark on their head. And at the same time, in a short while, this mark gets disappeared in their head. This mark gets disappeared on their head. And on that process, I begin to see why. Why is it happening like that? Why is this kind of things happening? And also, I saw some Christians who are very strong in Christ, are very, very, very strong in Christ. But when the angel get to their to place the mark on their head, something pop up in their life, and the angel did not place the mark. And instead of that, it was given to another person. So I also begin to watch as the team begin to go on. So when the angel moved from that uh, person who is not, I also he get to another uh, person again. The same thing happened again. Something pop up. But what I saw that is popping up is like it is as if this like uh in some part when it gets to a particular edge anger might pop up when it pop up the mark will not be placed if we get to a particular a uh, uh, christian too it might be lost that will pop up when it pop up the mark will not be placed on the head he only placed the mark on those who who have totally fought for themselves who have totally overcome the powers of sin and the powers of this world they are the people that the mark was placed on their head. When you get to a particular side and you see that maybe it's pride that is saw there, he take it off. He get to some women, the women he get to, their own is another area too. So he didn't mark it. There are some Christians that are very strong to themselves, but their weight, their, 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 the bond of their dressing didn't allow the angels to place the mark on their head because the, 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 the instrument of the devil is upon them. But true, true, they are living a righteous life, but they are not living a holy life. So I see that this, these angels are selective in placing this mark on their head. And they are still placing it in now. But one of the things I see, another part I see is that in the part of the people who they place mark, as time goes on, there are some people that the mark begin to fade. And there are some people that the mark begin that is completely out of their, their head. So when I look, I now see that I immediately when the angel was placing the mark on the people's head, the demons, Satan and the demon, they focus their attention on that people. Please, I want you to kindly understand me very well. As I'm telling you, please kindly understand what I'm saying. As the angel is placing the mark on the head of these Christians I'm talking about, I see that um, the devil is like when they place the mark, the devil focus their attentions on the people that this mark are placed on their head. The devil focus their attention on, and when they see that the mark is upon the person, they begin to wage war against the, the, the past person, both spiritually and physically, both emotionally and everything. Now, and as time goes on, I just see the wage war against a Christian and I see that the Christian, the mark totally disappear. So what is happening is this, the devil is, is not targeting mostly the people who have the mark on their head. So this is one of the reasons why this angel, is, they are still on earth as I'm talking to you. They are still moving around to place this mark on people's head. They are still moving around to play because as some people are getting their mark, some people's mark are disappearing. Some people spiritually they are gone, but they didn't know they are gone because of one thing or the other. So the more the person committed iniquity or sin, the mark begins to fade off. But when the person continues, continues, continuously, continuously and persistently committing the sin, the mark completely disappears. 
So this is what I saw. So the Lord is telling me to tell the Christian to be very, very careful at the time we have. It's the time he's choosing those who are going to make it to heaven. And if there, if you lose your home now, you are, you are going to visit for heaven. If the mark is come, is you, if you miss your home, if the angel gets your own store in your own doorstep and wanted to give it to you and then found out that there's this thing in your particular life, maybe it is anger, maybe it is loss, maybe it is kind of pride, whether little pride or big pride, any kind of thing that is saw in your life, man, malice or whatsoever is saw in your life, will qualify you to go to hell immediately. We qualify you to be a candidate of hell. If you look at Revelation, there's a place he was talking about. He sent his angel to be placing seal upon them. So that what is about to happen to the world will not happen to the saint. That is exactly what is happening right now. The angel are already going around placing seal upon people's head. He has already started placing seal, placing seal upon their head. And when he gets your own doorstep, he gets to you, and he found that there is a particular sin in your life. I am so sorry. That is the end of heaven. Because we don't know when that sin will stop. Like the, the day, you know, the time, the, the, the timeline, I was not told. The timeline of when the seed is going to, the seed is going to completely stop. I didn't know the timeline. But one thing is so sure that I'm so aware is that they are going around now, placing seed. It, if we are talking about time that you're supposed to live a righteous and a holy life, a life without sin and blemish, it is right now. It is right now. It is right now. It is not the right. It is not the right time for you to be by biting and right. It is not the right time for you to be gossiping around. A Christian sister meeting a Christian sister, a Christian brother meeting a Christian brother by batting about their, fam their fellows. Meaning, so this guy is not the time for that. We are in a very serious time whereby rapture can take place anytime. Anytime, anytime. He has already started placing seed. It's so pretty that the way some people's name are entered in the book of life is the same is the same way they are taking them out because sin are too much. The more you are falling into one sin today, the more you will ask forgiveness for in another sin. We are in the time whereby Christians are now masturbating. Lustfulness has, has filled their heart. So the Lord is telling me now to make yourself sanctified and clean ready for the bride to take off you have to make sure that your life is holy so that the seal will not bypass you or may probably they have placed the seal on your head and your own seal is already cleaning off it's already wiping off because of the sin and the iniquity you are committing that's dangerous so you have to start shaking yourself there are things that is happening in this world that you didn't know. Only few pastors will see it. Very few. Many pastors seal on their head have been removed. So you have to be extremely very careful in your way now. Because you never can tell whether the sin is already on your head. Or it's not there. Or it's about to be there. If you jeopardize your salvation, you might not be able to get it again. I pray the Lord will help you and help everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. I repeat what I'm saying. It is not the time for you to commit sin. Like, let me quickly get this anger and I will ask God for forgiveness. If you are not in that time, we are the time, we are in the time of seed. God is moving around, looking at fire, looking at the light of the world. If your light is no more shining, the same might not be on your head. If your life is go, going deep, deep, the seed might not be on your head. 
and the Lord help everyone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is a short revelation that God gave me about some days ago about placing the seal on people's head. Whosoever will take away the seal of God from your head, don't do it at all. Don't do it at all. The Lord will save you and help you in Jesus' name. Please kindly subscribe to this channel as you are watching. Many revelational messages are still coming and you need to hear it. Please subscribe to this channel, press the like button and share it. Share this message to everyone. You will not miss it. In heaven, in Jesus' name. God bless you. God be with you. Thank you. Bye-bye.